What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be giving you an update on my camper. So it's been a been a long project, been a lot of work, but I think the renovation of it is finally pretty much complete. So I still need to buy some some things, some accessories, but as far as, you know, restoring it and redoing everything, then I'm pretty much done. Got everything done in here. So like I said, the interior is pretty much all complete now. Got Just got to add a little handle to him down there. This is a door, but try to go real simple here in the kitchen. Didn't, you know, do anything fancy for the doors or anything. I could always do that later if I wanted to. The most recent thing that I've done is added the curtain and these cushion covers. So I tried to had to make these all custom fit because of the space that I had. So I just used some uh, memory foam and then kind of cut them in here. Then I went on Amazon and tried to find covers that were gonna fit. So they don't fit perfectly, but it's good enough for what I'm doing. So this back one, you see I had to, I glued and then sewed these two pieces together just to get the length that I wanted. So you can see it's a little loose, but not really a big deal. I still have to sew these these guys together. Then this is one long piece, and this is one long piece. And then I just have to put a backing on this just to make it a little bit more sturdy so it doesn't bend. But wanted to go with a with a color actually for this stuff just so everything wasn't just like dark gray and white. I wanted to just give it a little bit of offset. So I'm gonna go blue with the curtains. On Amazon, it looked like they were gonna match, but once it came, you can see they're a little bit different. Not really the end of the world, I still kind of like it. And I wanted blue curtains, and these are one of the only blue curtains I could find that were short. I didn't want to go super dark blue either, like a navy blue, just because the walls are are already dark I'm trying to lighten it up in here as much as i can i'm liking this color i like how it turned out and these are actually really soft i'll leave a link to everything i used down below so then i just finished my kitchen over here you got a little cabinet door right here and then another one right here so that will be maybe just like a little garbage can can go in there Still have to screw this down, but this is where my inverter is. And I have my little Jackery power station in there temporarily. So I guess this is like the power area. That is my circuit breaker for my inverter. It's a 100 amp. You can come here and shut that off if you want and break that circuit. I'm not sure if I showed you guys this before, but this is like the main battery disconnect and I can just shut everything off from right here now. So this still needs a little bit of work too. I gotta tighten it up from the back so it doesn't move on me. But that's where you just turn everything off. Got my eight gang switch panel right there. This is the one for the outside lights. To access the battery and, and all the electrical stuff, you just take this cushion off and then this pops up need to figure out a way to keep this up but you can see everything in here got my battery still need to get a bigger battery got my disconnect goes right there it's all the negative it goes to right there and that's all the positive on that side yeah i got a pretty good wiring system going on not too much of a mess try to keep it as simple as possible that's one thing i want to ask your guy for your opinion i have a couple couple things i'm going to ask you in this video so here's number one so i'm going to be upgrading this battery soon this is only an 80 amp hour battery so definitely not going to do the job this is just what i had for now but i'm looking at getting at least a 200 amp hour at least so i can't decide whether or not i'm going to go with agm or lithium problem with lithium I heard is it doesn't do well in cold weather so I plan on doing a lot of my camping in cold weather but I'm not sure how cold it will actually get inside here and my battery is going to be kept obviously in here underneath this little thing so 
Would a lithium battery stay warm enough inside here for it to be used correctly? It's one thing I'm not sure of. Uh, I would like to go lithium. Let me just hear your guys' opinions. Still have access to, that's the dirty water for the sink. I think I showed you guys that in a short video, but you can just turn the water on and then it just drains right down into there. That's just a little battery operated sink. It recharges right here, right back here. Had it for, for a while now and I've used it a good bit and haven't had to recharge it yet. So doing well with that. I like, I like that. Haven't hooked anything else up to this yet. I definitely am going to hook up some outside lights and maybe a camera system or something. So I'll have at least a couple extra just for whatever. Might even do some like some LEDs on the inside. Maybe I can go around or something. Got lots of options for those. So that's cool. Got my bed and my sleeping bag. Still need to get the curtains for up here. I want to cover all these windows, but this is the sleeping bag that I'm just going to keep in here. It's a cold weather sleeping bag. And then I got a four inch memory foam. I think it's just like a mattress topper, but it seems to be work really good. This is actually the bed that I bought for my Escalade. It was a tri-fold bed and it fits up in this little spot pretty much perfectly. Finished my couple little, you know, cubby holes. I can put maybe extra clothes up in this guy maybe extra like underwear and socks or something whatever i really need it for you can never really have too much storage in these things went real simple just just a square design put this put this trim on the bottom just to take away the sharp edge but you can see i got all my screws and stuff in there right now be some extra extra storage put kitchen stuff up on this side on this one right now i have my this is my little um little stove little camping stove might upgrade one day but this is just a grill boss outdoor portable stove it says outdoor but you know you can hook butane or propane to this and if i want to cook right here i could just open up this window open up my little hatch right above my head here and should have plenty of air and whatnot like i said might upgrade one day but this is what i'm using for now this little area not didn't turn out as pretty as i wanted it to i don't really like this stick on backsplash stuff but it is what it is like i've said a couple times this is just going to be a camper i'm more worried about function over than beauty still wanted it to look kind of nice and just wanted wanted everything to be new and no no mold no rot none of that stuff so i'm really happy with how everything turned out got lots of storage under here and i built it like this so i left this open and then i left it open going into here just so there's lots of air getting to my inverter and it doesn't overheat or anything got my basic fridge that was in my escalade camper i actually really like these fridges um, i'm probably going to get a bigger one one day this one's going to do the trick for now i like this bougie rv fridge just because of how just because of the power consum consumption when this thing is running it only it says it uses 45 watts but Every time I have it plugged in and I'm actually like looking at it, it says it's only using 30 watts. To have a fridge only use 30 watts, it's really nice. Guess I'll show you my closet next. So right now, just have my little buddy heater in there. I'll probably just keep this with me just as a backup heater. I'll talk about what my plans are for heat in a second here. Just have that as backup. And you can see I have my little safe in here, just in case I ever need to put anything of importance in a safe spot i still want to put a coat of polyurethane on all this wood so this guy and this guy i'll explain him in a minute but yeah this is going to be my closet all my shirts and stuff are going to hang up right in here all my hunting clothes and hunting jackets and whatnot and then you can have you can still put stuff on top of here but then you can flip this up it's on hinges and I put this little lock here, 
drilled a little hole into the wood and that goes like that and that'll lock that into place and now you have basically extra storage and I built this specifically I had this in mind specifically for my hunting trips I can put the pew pews in here maybe have a bungee or something that will hold them in place but I didn't really have anywhere to put longer items except I mean they could have gone up here I'm planning on putting other stuff in here so I wanted somewhere where I can put some longer things and they'd be out of the way. So this would work good. You can kind of stand them up in here if you want to. You know, move your shirts over this way and then kind of stand anything longer up in here and then maybe have some, some type of little guy to just secure them in place. But this also gives me access to all this room in here basically just a really big chunk that i can have a bunch of storage so there's really a lot of room in here then whenever you're done you can just pull this back down over there and covers all that up let me show you the extra bed if i ever have someone camping with me or going on a hunting trip with me or whatever all you have to do is unscrew this guy at the bottom here and it loosens it up then this table drops you gotta move the cushions out of the way. So that drops into place. There's two little guys that it holds, that it sits on here and right here. It goes all the way down. Then you can just tighten it up again for a little bit of extra support. Then you have this guy right here. And that has three hinges. You go in the closet and get that little wood guy that you saw. And this is all it is, just a couple of two by twos. This flips up, put this underneath there, right about there. And now you have a bed. You take this cushion that's over there, and you put it right like that. Used as a backing, put them right there like that. So the only spot you don't have it fully level is right there. But, take my boots off. It definitely works well. Seems like it can support a lot of weight. And it's pretty comfortable. <sighs> yeah, this, like I said, this is just an extra bed. So don't really plan on using this like every day. Just for occasions, it's, it's going to work pretty well. I'm about 170-ish pounds. So it supports my weight with no issues. Really solid, really sturdy. I don't feel like I'm gonna fall or anything. I might do something just so that little support that I use gets like clicked into place a little bit better maybe. Just so if you're moving at nighttime, you don't have to worry about that falling on you. It doesn't take long to make the bed or put it away. All you really gotta do is put this one cushion back this guy just drops right down into place. This thing doesn't take up very much room at all. The back cushions. There we go. Let put this guy back up. And there we go. Back to a table and seating area. Last thing is the bathroom. I added this guy. I'm not sure if I showed you this or not. But this is just a little access hatch where it just unscrews. Now I have access to that little cubby hole inside there. And that's where my hot water tank is going to sit. Or my hot water heater, I mean. I actually just purchased the hot water heater and the toilet. So that will be here in a couple days. And the bathroom will be all done. But this is how I have it set up. So the hot water heater is going to sit in here. You'll be able to turn it on from right here. And then the shower head is going to come out somewhere on here somewhere. I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to just drill a little hole. And that will be for the shower head to come out. But this is for the access to the hot water. That just screws back on. This was real cheap. Got it on Amazon. Seems to be all waterproof and everything. I redid the drain. The drain is exactly how I want it now. I was having a hard time getting this um, tubing material to turn 
so I had to redo everything. So I had a little short video where I showed you guys what I was doing, but I redid all of it. I just have this here now just because it sags a little bit. If I don't, it's not totally, totally finished. Might be a little bit hard to see. I had to rig this all up. So I had a, I bought the drain and a little drain kit off Amazon. Like I said, I'll leave a link to everything, but it made like a 90 degree turn right there. And then I have a clamp holding this guy on to the black drain. Put spray foam all around it. And then, yeah, the water is going to drain right out the back here. I plan on just using environmental friendly soaps and stuff and just draining right onto the ground. Less hassle for me. Don't have to worry about you know, having a gray tank of water or emptying out all that water. The only water I have to empty is the sink water. Still not sure what I want to do with the bottom of the camper. Not sure if I want to just paint it or if I want to put some ice and water shield on it. This is exactly how I envisioned the drain to work. So it comes out right there like that. And then you can see now that the camper is elevated a little bit by these three pressure treated two by fours. The camper is sitting on this wood on the front and the back right here. You can see it's barely sitting on that one. The, the jacks are still supporting some of the weight, but for the most part, it's sitting on here. So right here, I can still fit my fingers under there. And yeah, them pressure treated two by fours just keep the whole camper up off the bed, the bed of the truck, you know, about an inch and a half, just so no water ever sits and soaks into the camper. And it also gives me the clearance I needed for my drain to come out. I'm going to put just a little hanger and screw it on both sides just to hold this up. So just have this sitting there just for now, just so it sits up in that little cutout perfectly. Other than that, haven't really done anything too, too much on the outside. I put a really thin coat of paint on the top here, just to brighten it up a little bit and make it not look so old. I've done so much work to it, I just wanted to brighten it up a little bit. All right guys, couple things. The one thing, not 100% certain on is the heater. I'm definitely going to get a diesel heater, one of those Chinese diesel heaters off Amazon. That's the plan. But if I could just get a big enough battery and use a little electric heater, then that would actually be really nice and convenient. So I have this one little space heater that only uses 200 watts. So 200 watts definitely is not bad. I think I could run that. And I'm not sure if that little 200 watt space heater would be enough to heat this camper in the winter. Even though it is well insulated, I'm just not sure if it would keep up. Couple of things I'm just bouncing, bouncing around on. Let me look at my list on Amazon here. As far as the air conditioner goes, I'm planning on using one of the portable air conditioners, like, like one of the Hisense 6000 BTU portable ACs. They make like RV ACs that are really like lightweight and portable. Well, one, they make the big ones that go on the top. Those are really expensive, really heavy, and kind of complicated. And then they make, there's other R RV ones that are like really lightweight and low wattage, but those are also really expensive. They're like between 500 and a thousand dollars. So if I could get one of these portable ACs for like under 200 bucks, that might be really nice. And I might even have a good spot to put it. I'm not sure yet. I don't know if I'm going to do any summer camping this year or not. So I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to need it this year or not, but I got some time to think about it. As far as solar panels goes, I think I'm going to get like a 400 watt system. I'm thinking 400 watts is going to be enough. I hope so. The inverter I have is good for now. It's an 1100 watt inverter, but I do want to upgrade to a 2000 watt eventually. And then yeah, I still need to get a new ladder for the back and a new roof rack, but that's pretty much it. I can pretty much use it as is. I have everything done. Like I said, I just bought the hot water heater and 
the toilet so that's on its way and then once that gets here this camper is actually done and usable the only things I have left to do are just add upgrades basically I'm super happy with how this camper turned out it was a lot of work if I had to do it all again I think I would do it the exact same way that I did it it cost a lot of money like I said in some of the other videos I'm definitely over budget probably I haven't added everything up exactly but just based off everything that I know I'm probably into this camper for a rate around 4,000 but with that being said it's exactly the way I want it I know everything about it I know how I build everything everything's really solid it's waterproof for many many years to come it has everything I need it's exactly the way I want it basically a new camper for about 4,000 will I ever get that money out of this thing I don't know probably not I've seen some newer campers go for insane money like these these truck campers even I've seen some for like 50 in the $50,000 range which to me is just mind-blowing if you got the money I guess go for it but but yeah really happy with mine it was definitely more work than I thought I spent more money on redoing the interior than I thought I just kind of overlooked that I could have saved a bunch of money by going cheaper just by going like some, like plywood wall panels and painting them instead of doing this stuff I could have saved a lot of money with that and then not doing all this stupid stuff with the trim like if you were just looking for just a pure camper that was pure function only you didn't care about um, looking nice at all then you could do this for a lot lot cheaper just getting it waterproof and replacing the rod and wood and everything really wasn't that expensive it was redoing all this stuff on the inside and trying to make it look half decent is where the expenses came in have no idea how much this thing weighs now definitely want to uh, get it weighed one of these days i can just put it on my truck and take it to a weigh station yeah before i buy my new truck i would definitely like to know how much this thing weighs even though I'm pretty sure I'm going to be going with a one ton truck either way. Definitely added a lot of weight to this thing. No doubt about it. So I still got a bunch of videos left on this thing. Like I said, I'm just going to be adding the accessories and upgrades. If you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. So you don't miss out on the future videos on this camper. And drop me a big thumbs up down below as well. I really appreciate it and helps the video reach a wider audience. Thanks guys. Yeah, I'd say it's about... 95% done. This door is really nice too. Super happy I found this door on Facebook Marketplace. Got that for 150 bucks. But nice screen door I have. Hey guys, I think that's pretty much it. Still want to buy two more of these jacks and just put them back here just because I don't like these jacks. The main problem I have with these ones is they don't go up as high as those ones and they don't lower down as far when you lower this one down this can only go down to right here while that one can go pretty much all the way down to the ground so if you had four of those you could actually sit this camper straight onto the ground if you wanted to but if you have these guys here it's still about you know eight inches off the ground not a big deal or anything but the last thing i do will be replace these ones with ones like that another issue is that when you're traveling you kind of have to take these off the truck like once once the camper's on the truck you take these two bolts off and remove remove the jack and if you're going on some pretty far road trips it would be nice to have the option to take the camper off the truck if something crazy happened like an emergency so that's the main reason why i want to replace them as you can see all the outside lights working well Got all the windows in the last thing i want to ask you guys is this front window so let me grab what i'm talking about first things first i'm going to be getting some of that rv eterna bond and covering up these seams with that some really good rv sealant tape just because i've done a ton of work to get this camper waterproof and i don't want it to ever leak again so i'm going to cover up this trim with it 
all the way starting from here all the, all along the top on both sides and then I'm going to cover up the seams of this window too just because this window is pretty ugly like my caulk job was a little rough on that one but the main concern was making it waterproof I'm going to get the black stuff so that should actually make a really nice finished look on that window and using the black it'll match all the other windows because all the other windows are black so I can use that black tape as to kind of make it all look nice but if you guys haven't watched all the videos I completely redid this window took this glass out um, resealed all the edges uh, I really don't think this window is ever gonna leak again but the one thing that I'm worried about is I go down a lot of like forest service roads, state forest roads, a lot of back roads basically. And I'm worried about low hanging branches. I'm thinking that if I'm not paying attention for a split second and I'm going too fast and a low branch hits this window that it's going to break. And if I'm far away from home or on a long trip or whatever, and that could potentially ruin the trip. So my idea, I'm thinking about putting a piece of wire mesh just like this on there. So it'll obviously, I'll cut it and fit it perfectly to the outside you know, diameter of this window. Then I can screw it in with a few more of those screws you see. But then this will basically, you know, I'll make it, try to make it as tight as possible. But then this would just make like a, an extra protection on this window. Thinking that would be enough to keep it protected from anything like that, or even like a big rock, maybe flying down the highway or something. Who knows what could happen? I think that's a good idea. So let me know what you guys think. So that's gonna be it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. This camper's come a long, long way. Really, really happy with what I have now. I've been wanting one of these for a long time and I'm really excited to start using it. I'm still in my busy work season right now, so probably won't end up using it until the fall, but once I start using it, I'm really gonna be using it. So that's gonna be it. Hope you guys have a great day. Peace.